Men's sperm has dropped 60% since 1973. Mount Sinai School of Medicine projects that male sperm could reach zero by 2045. That would mean no more babies. Let that settle in. Why is the UN not calling an emergency meeting about this? That's fine. If they won't help, I will. Here's how you boost male fertility naturally. Keep your package at 92.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Your private parts produce more sperm at optimal temperatures of 92.6 degrees, which is 5 degrees lower of regular body temperature of 98.6 degrees. To drop the temperature of your package 5 degrees, you need to do these steps in order. First, you want to use a deodorant that's designed for your private parts that contains a menthol or a eucalyptus. This will give your package a chilly sensation throughout the day to minimize sweat. Next, you need to trim the hair down there. Hair is great at trapping sweat, which will increase the temperature in that area. Then, you'll want to wear breathable bottoms. This means both your underwear and your pants, as this will help increase something called thermal regulation. This is your body's natural ability to regulate heat. When your clothes blocks the moisture from evaporating your skin, skin temperature will then increase. Breathable clothing can help reduce that blockage by up to 50%. And finally, you want to keep your room at a low temperature. This study found that being in rooms with warm temperature or really hot environments can reduce sperm count by 152%. The best room temperature to keep your semen healthy is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the type of stuff that no one's talking about and it's going to make a huge difference in your male health. Tips 2 to 6 will cover everyday habits that most men do that you don't realize is damaging your sperm health. 2. Keep your teeth clean. Having bad breath can be destroying your semen. Bad breath? is linked to bad oral care and an increase in bacteria production. This bacteria can make its way into your sperm and affect your fertility through something called bacteriospermia. Researchers were treating men with bacteria in their semen with antibiotics. After treatment, 23% of those men still came back with bacteria in their semen. So they took those 23% and had them checked up. The scientists then realized they all had bad oral hygiene. So they split that group of 23% into two different groups. One group had all their dental problems treated. The second didn't. Six months later, the researchers tested the semen again. Two thirds of the group that had their oral hygiene fixed also improved their semen quality. This means that you need to floss, brush your teeth, and mouthwash daily to kill any bacteria in your mouth that could then damage the health of your semen. Three, give your package room to breathe. Male fertility can be affected by two things, heat, which we just talked about, and pressure. Tight underwear causes both. This is exactly why your male package hangs separate from your body, so it can remain cooler and produce sperm optimally. This is why choosing the right underwear is key, and there are three key factors you should always look into. The first factor is space for your package to breathe. Sure, boxers provide you space, but are uncomfortable to wear because they don't provide any support. I found a brand called Sheath a few years back and they basically solved this issue with a double pouch technology. So now I wear underwear that gives me support, plus my package remains detached from my body with enough room to breathe. Scientists proved just how important this is with the survey of 656 men that were having fertility issues. The researchers asked participants, what style of underwear do they choose to wear daily? They found that the men that reported wearing looser fit boxers had 25% higher sperm concentration than those that wore tighter underwear. This is exactly why I love wearing my briefs from Sheaf because now my package has its own compartment, giving me both comfort and support. And according to science, this is needed for optimal sperm health. The second thing you need are boxers that are breathable. Remember this, bad fabrics can block the body's natural heat regulation process. This then increases the temperature in your package, which affects your sperm quality. Sheath underwear is made from a natural bamboo fabric. It's the softest material to touch your skin, and it's 30 times more breathable than regular cotton. Bamboo is also naturally antibacterial, which means any bad odors your body produces get eliminated by the fabric. Finally, buy underwear that makes you look and feel great, because that confidence is what truly matters. You do those three, and you'll have underwear that boosts your fertility. If you guys want to check out Sheath, which is the underwear that I wear, I'll have them linked below with a special code to pick up a pair with a limited time discount. Once you try Sheath, you'll never go back to regular underwear. You've been warned. And also, help. Four, everything around you is poisoning your package. Everything around you contains chemicals called PFAs. These are forever chemicals and everyday products that never break down in the human body. They just accumulate and accumulate doing more and more damage. Here's the problem. 
they are endocrine disruptors, which means they affect the hormone system and block testosterone production. And when I say everyday products, I mean everything from plastic food containers, waterproof clothes, fragrance, soaps, shampoos, electronics, and even your carpeting. The EPA estimates that 20% of the exposure comes from everyday drinking water. The other 80% comes from everyday items that I just mentioned. If that's not enough, PFAs have also been found to shrink penile and ball size. So here's your solution. The best way to get rid of PFAs is to filter all your drinking water. Drink from glass and never from plastic and avoid strong grooming products as the cleaning agents found inside of them contain PFAs. Now, to know if your grooming products contain any PFAs, read the personal care product label in the back and avoid anything that reads perfluor, polyfluor, PTFE, or Teflon. Five, lose body fat. There is a direct connection between obesity and fertility. This is frightening because we know that 73% of people are either overweight or obese. That means three in four of you watching right now could be destroying your sperm health based on your diet. Obesity disrupts your hormone balance by turning androgens into estrogen. This leads to low testosterone levels. Then, increased fat storage around your package also increases heat, which reduces sperm quantity. New research even shows that being overweight can cause epigenetic changes, meaning your kids will pay for your bad decisions by receiving damaged DNA. So what's the fastest way to lose body fat? I want you to cut back on any sugar-sweetened beverage and replace that with water. 63% of Americans drink at least one sugary drink a day. You have to think, each can of soda contains about 140 calories. If you were to drink one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you are drinking 420 calories a day. In a week, that's almost 3,000 calories you could save if you replace it to water. This is impactful because one pound of fat is equal to 3,500 calories burned. You're just replacing your sugary drinks with water could be shaving off one pound of fat a week. Six, don't sit too long in front of your computer. You need to make sure that you're moving around as having a sedentary office job or playing video games all day can hurt your sperm count. Regular physical activity can increase testosterone and boost sperm quality. When you do train, you want to make sure you're weightlifting and you're running, not walking. The first two are the most optimal at increasing sperm quality to the highest level. So far, I've showed you how to drop your package temperature to the optimal level, how bacteria in your mouth affects your sperm, how to find and use the right underwear, how to stop being poisoned by everyday items, and even how to lose belly fat easily all to increase sperm quality. This last tip I have will supercharge your male health with secrets no one ever talks about. Number seven, take three natural supplements that will boost your male health. Out of everything we talked about, testosterone is the most important hormone as it drives sperm quality and quantity. Your goal is to get your body to produce as much testosterone naturally. This is problematic because average testosterone levels seem to be dropping every generation, with Generation Z having the lowest average testosterone levels of any generation. So here are three natural ways to get your body to produce more. First, take vitamin C. Vitamin C is an antioxidant. It will help cell damage caused by oxidative stress. Oxidative stress lowers fertility. Two, take d aspartic acid. In one study with infertile men taking 2.7 grams a day for three months, they increased their test levels anywhere from between 30 and 60% and sperm count between 60 and 100%. The number of pregnancies in the group also went up. And finally, take antioxidants. Those men that took antioxidants had fewer DNA damage to sperm cells than those men that didn't take antioxidants. Also, the men that took antioxidants, those couple had higher pregnancy rates than the men that didn't. That's it for me today, boys. Those are seven natural ways to boost your sperm health. Here are two more videos to continue to level up. See you guys next time.